Hello everyone, and welcome to another tutorial from DrawingNow.com. This tutorial is how to draw a frog step by step. Today you will need paper, pencil, eraser, and colors. Now, let's begin the tutorial. So first, you are going to start out by drawing the eyes. They are going to be two upside down U shapes. Now here we're starting with the left one. So you start, you draw your upside down U shape. And then you start on the other one, making sure that you're leaving some space to draw in the head. So you start he about here and then draw your upside down U shape going down a little further than you did when you started. And then you draw a line connecting them about halfway down, just a little curved line connecting the two eye parts. And now we're gonna continue on drawing the rest of the head. So you're going to draw a little curve right here and then a bigger sideways U shape. Our frog is going to be smiling. So you have to draw his little cheeks so you're going to draw your sideways U shape, but this time you're going to continue the line about halfway across his face, halfway. And you're, now you're going to do the same thing on the left side. So you're going to draw this little line right here, and then you're gonna draw your sideways U shape, continuing the line, again, about halfway across his face, and this time you're going to connect it to the line on the other side, like that. And now we're gonna draw his smile. So you draw a little line right here to show that his cheeks are lifted because he's smiling. And you're going to draw a line down from that, curving and extending it towards the bottom of the face, almost halfway across. And now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, draw this little line and then Draw the line going down towards the middle, making sure to connect it to the bottom of the face. And now you're going to start drawing the eyes. They're going to be big egg shapes. And now I say they're going to be egg shaped because the top part of the eye right here is going to be a little bit smaller than this bottom part. If you measured it, it would be a little bit smaller. So it's just going to be in between this upside down U shape right here and the smile. So you're just going to draw one egg shape and then you're going to go to the right side and do the same thing in between the upside down U shape and the smile. So you're going to start here, draw the egg shape and then connect it right there. And then you're going to draw the black part of the eyes and they're just going to be little ovals on each eye but they're going to be towards both of them are going to be towards the middle of the face so this one's going to be here and then this one is going to be right there and make sure to connect the lines to these lines of the eyes right here and now we're going to start on the body we're going to start right here with this little line. It's going to be his neck. Start like about below the smile. You're going to curve this way and then curve the other way for his body. And then you're going to draw a line, the line of his outer arm. So it's just going to curve this way because his arms are going to be bent a little bit. Just curve this way. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So start here with his little neck, curve this way, and then curve the other way. This part of the line is going to be the outside of his other arm. And again, it's curving a little bit because his arms are going to be a little bit bent. And now you're going to start this line, which is about halfway across the eyes. I'm going to start right here, curving this way a little bit like this. 
And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, about halfway down the eyes, halfway across the eyes. And it's going to go in straight line right here. And then it's, there's going to be a little corner and then go back out the other way. And now we're going to start on his fingers, which are long U shapes, each one. So here, long U shape starting at the bottom of the line of his arm and then curve this way because we're going to continue on later to the rest of his fingers. And now we're going to start the same thing on the other side. So starting at the line of his arm, long U shape and then curving because this is his thumb. So curving inward here to the rest of his fingers. Again, they're all long sideways U shapes here and then starting about here going along you're not going to connect the line yet so you just stop about there leave some space in between those two lines and then give another little line here and then this last line you're going to connect to his arm that's going to be his last finger his little pinky finger and now we're going to continue on to the fingers on his other side that we didn't finish before Again, like the right side, they're going to be long U shapes. Just continue the line and then start here like on the other side. Continue the U shape. You're not Again, you're not going to connect it yet, so leave a little bit of space right here in between the lines. And then this last line, you're going to connect it right there to his arm. The reason you're drawing three fingers on this side instead of four is because the way the frog is, you're not going to be able to see his fourth finger right here. It's hidden behind this one. So you don't have to draw it because you won't be able to see it. <clears throat> and now we're going to continue on to draw his left leg. His left back leg right here. We're going to start about down from his cheek. Just draw a line straight down. Start there. Go out this way and then curve because his legs are bent. So it's going to curve back down this way, going down, making sure, make sure to leave space right here in between this line and this line. They don't connect and then connect down to the arm. And now you're going to draw his little feet, his little toes. So start about here across from that line. Go out a, again, a long U shape connecting the line here and then here another U shape connecting it to this toe and then this last one connecting it here make sure that these two lines right here the line for this toe and the line for this toe don't connect and then we're going to draw his other leg so again like the other one it's going to come out about from the edge of his eye it's going to go down it's going to go out this way and it's going to bend right here because his legs are bent and it's going to connect down right here on his arm and now we're going to draw his toes so right from where you finish drawing that leg you're going to draw the long u shape of the toe and then another long u shape of the other toe and again you're only going to see two toes because the other toe would be hidden on that side so that's okay and now finally you're going to draw the line right here in between his arm and his thumb because that's the bottom of his body. Now make sure that when you're connecting these, this line right here, that if you were to draw a line connecting this line and this line, it would match up and it would make sense and continue. <clears throat> so if you want, you can actually draw that in with your pencil very lightly and just see if it'll connect. And it'll look okay. If it doesn't, try drawing your line again. It's okay. Alright, and there you have your frog. Now, um, for the coloring part, we're going to go fast. But if you want to watch the coloring part at a slower speed or in normal time, you can visit our website and do so. Now, you can find our you can find this coloring page on our website and you can also find images of each step so you can follow along. Now, 
Um, notice how this frog was colored. You can color your frog however you like, but notice how this frog was colored. There were shadows added here because that because of how his face curves if he were a frog in real life or a stuffed animal. This is where his face would curve in, so that's where the shadows fall, like here and on his little feet and his little hands. And then the lighter parts here and here on his eyes and here on his legs, that's where it would curve away. So the light is reflected from other parts of, his, of the room, if he were in a room, that's where the light would be reflected on him. And then here in his eyes, that's where the light's reflected in his eyes. So you can add that, you can try adding that if you'd like. All right, that's the end of our tutorial. Thanks for watching and please rate and comment this video. Also, don't, to, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also visit drawingnow.com for thousands of more free drawing tutorials. Thanks, and see you next time.